What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is the follow-up on my how to install a flexi cask um, system with a hand pull. I had a, a few comments which were absolutely fair, fairly pointed out as well. These bags, are, it's not sustainable is it? Using one bag every time you want to brew. They're not reusable as such. I think you'd start getting a lot of air contamination in there as well you can't get rid of it all maybe i can purge it with co2 but i think it'd be easier if i converted this system to run off a um, a cask type thing using corny kegs originally this is the connector it's a vitop connector that goes onto the bags these these bags as well they don't hold pressure very well I wouldn't want to try it. Also, the hand pull can't handle pressure without a um, check valve or a demand valve in place, which is one of these bad boys. And that's a proper one as well, not a Chinese one. So when I installed the system to begin with, all I had was a, all I've got, sorry, is a non-return valve, um, which is fine for what I needed it for but I want the beers to go on just with a little bit of carbonation like you would expect from a cask. I'll do a test now to show you if you don't have a check valve like this, even as little as five PSI, I'll pressurize this now and hook it up to the hand pull. You'll see what I mean. It just flows out. So you can imagine if you'd put eight PSI on a, um, a beer, which is kind of normal serving pressure, a nice pale ale. I'm probably just gonna do something maybe even down to about five PSI just a little bit of carbonation. Let me show you what I mean with it not holding any pressure. Then we'll inst install this. So this is one of them uh, spending valves. Never actually used it for any purpose yet. So this now is at five PSI. And I'll show you what I mean with the uh, hand pull. This has got water in it and there's just a bit of star sand left over in the, uh, in the line. So if we have a look at the sparkler here, as soon as I connect the keg. Out she blows. Let's install this check valve or demand valve. Um, I'll put the link in the description below as well. So I hope this check valve, um, that is the inlet there. That's three eighth. And then that's half inch barbed fitting coming out. So I need to try and put something in place for this to maybe mount there and get the pipe going round to the back of this. Now, I'm pulling this out of the fridge because as you might have noticed, I've got quite a bit of slack in there already. Don't really want to flex this about. I don't want to fix this on here either. So I think on this post should be pretty ideal. that level it'll do one of the very rare pencils in the house at the moment with the kids home constantly don't know what they do with these I'm sure they eat them or something but this one's not leaving my brewery so we'll make up a fitting for that first off and then we'll uh, screw this in place a bit easier before fixing it oh, Two showers today already. There's definitely a reducer behind here. So I think there might be half inch on the back of this already. And there we have it, there is. So John Guest, half inch to three eighth fitting. This isn't barbed on the back here, obviously because of this, but yeah, we can probably get a hose clamp on it and then a hose clamp straight to this. And also we can do away with our non-return valve. Pretty sure this one does the same. So we found a bit of um, half inch tubing. This one I've pinched off the Grainfather recirculating pipe. Just for the time being, I'm gonna order one online. And a couple of worm drives as well, you know, the uh, worm clamps. I've uh, misplaced them. I think this will work for this test, even at five PSI. I don't think it'll blow off because it's not holding any pressure on the outlet side of this only on the inlet 
So then as soon as you demand um, flow, the pressure is obviously coming out of the um, uh, the sprinkler. So sprinkler, sparkler. Come on, mate. I think that'll have to do for now. Just see it there. It's a perfect length as well. It's it's a shame to have to order like a meter of this just for this purpose. Oof. That goes on a bit too easy, boys. Whap a couple of screws in here. Leave me alone. And hooked up is the inlet. There's a barb outlet and um, you need some flex in this obviously because this whole this whole section moves. Um, okay, let's give it a go at with let's give it a go with the same keg at five psi and see if we have the same issue. Let me know if uh, it pisses out. Silence. Oh, I like it. I then put some demand on it. So five psi, and it works. I'm pretty happy with that. Just to perfect this, I'm going to be putting a half inch hose at the back here. Probably won't go for a silicone one, go for something a bit more sturdy because um, as you're drawing through it's gonna flex too much. Um, think of um, like a garden hose type of um, strength to it. And a couple of worm drives and, and we're done. We are done with it. So the first beer to go on this new cask system is gonna be the vacant gesture from Harry Brew 69. That's ready to be kegged today. I'll leave that to force carbonate at about five PSI. Don't want much fizz in it at all, but I just don't want it to be a completely dead beer in terms of carbonation. It's definitely not dead in flavor. And sitting alongside it in the fridge is gonna be this bottle. So as I'm drawing um, liquid out, I can turn this on to just be a slow trickle of CO2. This will then equalize the pressure so as I'm pulling through a pint this can top up the keg through the inlet post. Now if there's a, a party or loads of people around or you want to go on a mish then you could disconnect it or open the poppet and just draw it down as you would a normal venting cask I suppose. But I want to try and keep it closed, keep some CO2 on the top of it just to make it last and yeah can't wait. Can't wait to try it. So I hope that's been of use to anyone. Um, if you have any uh, similar setups or, or any suggestions with, with what I've done, just leave them in the comments box below. I'm pretty certain it's gonna work. Famous last words. I'm off to go and, uh, yeah, go nowhere. Stay safe, guys, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeshida.